Good evening, and welcome to Brittany TV. I'm your hostess, Brittany Stodden, and tonight I'm going to be covering all the important events of 2013 and 2014. But first, let's go to the Brittany TV Eye in the Sky with the latest traffic. This is Brittany TV pilot Brittany Stodden. The roads over the metro look really clear, with just a few accidents near West Des Moines caused by student drivers. Because there isn't much going on right now, I'm going to do a nosedive and make this pen float from my hand. Um, that doesn't look safe. Let's go to our top stories of 2013 and 2014. Locally, the top story is the kidnapping and murder of a teenager from Dayton, Iowa. 15-year-old Kathleen Shepard and a friend, 12-year-old Desi Hughes, were kidnapped by a convicted sex offender and taken to a farm. Hughes managed to escape. So police say the sex offender, Michael Clunder, killed Kathleen Shepard, then killed himself. Kathleen's body was found two weeks later. Ever since then, her parents have been trying to change Iowa laws so sex offenders have to spend more time in prison. Our other top local story, a powerful tornado hit Lake Panorama. And amazingly, nobody was seriously hurt. But there was a lot of damage. The tornado destroyed several condominiums. But because the condos were only used for the weekend getaways, most of the owners were not there. The condos will probably be torn down and the cleaning up the mess could cost millions of dollars. In national news, three people were killed and hundreds hurt when two bombs exploded at the Boston Marathon. The bombs exploded right at the finish line on April 15, 2013. A few days later, the FBI released pictures of the suspects from Watertown, Massachusetts. One was killed by a police in a shootout. The other faces more than 30 charges and could spend the rest of his life in prison. In Cleveland, three women who had been kidnapped and held prisoner for years managed to escape on May 6, 2013. The kidnapper, a man named Ariel Castro, pled guilty to murder, kidnapping and almost 1,000 counts of rape. He was sentenced to life in prison, but a month later, he killed himself in prison. In world news, thousands watched as an African leader was laid to rest. Nelson Mandela died in December of 2013. He helped end apartheid in South Africa, which separated blacks and whites. He was also the president of South Africa for five years. And Roman Catholics got a new pope. Pope Francis became the new head of the Catholic Church after Pope Benedict stepped down. In Brittany's personal life, a lot of things have happened. I made friends with members of Bikers Against Child Abuse. These are motorcycle riders who help children who have been abused. And they use their biker images to help empower children. I also got to go out and shoot several different guns, like an AK-47 and a 12-gauge. I'm scared! And that's it for Brittany TV. Thanks for joining us.